your vision? How well can you see with those two eyeballs that you have on your head? I'm just curious. Hey, my name is Pastor Andy. I'm the children's pastor here at TC3 Kids, and we're starting a brand new series here called Zoom. I want to test your vision out real quick. What I want to do is I want to throw a picture up on the screen, and it's going to be really, really microscopically close. Your job is to try to guess what that picture is. As it slowly pulls out, and if you have more than one person in your house, maybe you can try to be the fastest or the first person to guess what it is. If you're by yourself, try to guess it as fast as you can before it zooms all the way out. Y'all ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. Here we go. We're gonna throw that picture up here. And remember, try to be the first to guess what it is. Ready, set, go. Man, did you see that? Could you tell that it was a snake at first? Probably not. I love snakes. I love a lot of animals. But snakes, though, they're pretty cool. There's a lot of neat things about them. You know what? Let's try another one. Let's try another one of these little zoomed-in pictures. You may not be able to guess what it is at first, but as you slowly pull the picture back, you'll be able to see what it is. Are you ready? Again, try to be the first to guess or try to be the fastest to guess or, or you know, time yourself. Here we go. You ready for this one? Here we go. Three, two, one, zoom. It was the whole earth. There's no way I could have seen that at first. It was too close to see. I, you had to pull the camera all the way back to see that it was the earth. And you know what? Sometimes that's what we need to do with God's plan. You, I, I'm super excited as we get to start a brand new series for five weeks called Zoom. And what we're going to do is we're going to start into the Bible. We're going to look at some of the basic beginnings of the Bible as we begin a brand new year. That's right. Today, you are special guests as we begin a, a, a new thing. Well, we're going to actually read this Bible right here in a year. That's right. We're going to take one year to read this whole Bible. Now, we're not, what we're not going to do is read every single word in here. But what we are going to do is we are going to not skip around. You see, when you're making a building, you don't, like a 50-story building, you, you don't start like at story number 26 and then build the 13th floor and then go to floor number 48 down to the floor number one. No, you start at the beginning and you build story on story on story on story on story. Sort of like the stories in the Bible. So we're going to go in order from the beginning to the end of the Bible in one year. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to do that for the next five weeks by looking at the first five books of the Bible. Do you know what they are? <laughs> if you don't, well, let's show you. The first five books of the Bible, of course, are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Today we're going to look at Genesis. And in the book of Genesis, the very beginning of it all takes place. The creation of this world. Yeah, God created the whole world in six days. Did you know that? In six days he did it. In the first five days, well, what did he make? Let's look on the screen here. Let's see, on day one, God made the heavens and the earth. On day two, he separated the atmosphere, so we had the sky. 
On day number three, we see that he made the dry plants, the dry land, the sea animal, the plant. You know, it was, it was cool. Things started building. You see how it's building now. On day number four, the sun, moon, and stars. Boop, 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 boop. All that stuff in the sky. Whoa. And then day number five, sea creatures, birds, and animals. He starts making all these animals. That's awesome, man. Day number six, that's the big one. That's the big one. Because see, on day number six, what did he make? God made, on day number six, people. He created us. He created you, me. Well, he started with the two, Adam and Eve. He created Adam and Eve, and he put them in place and said, hey guys, this world is yours. He made the perfect world. I mean, it was awesome. Looking around, can you imagine being one of the first people here on this earth? It's perfect. There weren't diseases. There was nothing to get hurt by. I mean, it was just like everything was just kosher. It just worked. It was like the perfect Lego blocks. It just build, build, build. It was awesome. It was out of sight. It was perfect. That's the only word we can describe it. It was perfection. But sort of like our tower here. Sometimes when we make something, things happen. And if you have little baby brothers or sisters, you know what I'm talking about. You make something and it sounds really cool, but then little baby brother, sister, ah, I got to touch it. I got to touch. And you're like, hey, don't touch that. I worked really hard to make that perfect. Don't touch it. I just want to touch it, I got to touch it. Don't touch it. I'm warning you. I'm giving you one rule. You can, you can play with all the other toys out there. You can, you can do all these other things, but just don't touch that, please. If you do, you're going to mess it all up. And that's what happened. We were like Adam and Eve, those little kids. They were told not to touch a tree. That was the one rule God gave us to do it. You go there, 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 there. Just don't touch that one tree. And they went, I just got to touch it. And they walked away from it. But then they were tricked by the devil. The devil tricked him. It was so tempting to touch that tree, that perfect plan that God had. And they tried to walk away from it. <laughs> what happened? What, where, where'd it go? What? Well, the world was no longer perfect anymore. It was this jumbled mess. You see, something happened. The introduction of what we call sin took place. Sin is that separation between us and God. It's what separates us. It's the times that we break the rules that God gives us. He commands us not to do something like that, and we do it, and God, God's heart is broken. It hurts, because he, what he wanted was us to be in a perfect celebration, and we choose not to. But here's the thing. You see, from the very beginning, though, God knew that he gave us a choice. He said, I know what's going to happen. I know what could happen. I, I know. I, I'm giving them a chance. I'm not going to control them like a bunch of robots. You're going to have your own choice of what you want to do with your life. You can either choose to not sin or you choose to sin. But the whole time, the whole time this took place, God had a plan from the very beginning. Did you know that the Son of God, Jesus, is in the very beginning of the Bible? Yeah. You see, if you read Genesis chapter 3, and I'm going to read verse number 15. So just follow along here. In verse 15, it says, And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. You see, what's happening there is God is talking to Satan, saying, Satan, you tricked my creation. You tempted them to do something I told them not to do. But I have a plan that's going to backfire in your face. That's right. You see, you may have your plans in place, but you see Adam and Eve, their children, 
I'm going to do something with them. I'm going to give them a savior, a way out, a way to fix this mess. And it says here, between your offspring and hers. That's right, Eve's. Eve's offspring down the road. He will crush your head and you will strike at his heel. Yeah, you're going to nip at him like an annoying little snake, like our Zoom, right? He is an annoying little snake. Yeah, I'm going to bite the foot. I'm going to try to bite him. But Jesus, he's going to crush your head. And by doing that, by believing it, what we do is we get a chance to try to reset everything. Now, it's not going to be as beautiful and as perfect as God made it, because it was God, right? But it gives us a chance to build our way back to Him. It gives us a chance to know that, God, we have a second chance. We can do this. We do it because of the perfect plan that you created. From the very beginning, you already knew it was going to happen. And you made a way out, like a little trick door in a video game. You found us a way out. And next week, I want to see you guys come back here. We're going to get into the book of Exodus next week. Oh, we're just getting started as we put the first floor into our stories, right? And to help you all out, I'm going to give you guys one more bit of, of strength. Our Bible verse. We have a power verse. Yeah, our power verse is Romans 8.39. And it goes like this. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. And that's because of what Christ Jesus, our Lord, has done. <laughs> that's right. You see, God's plan is already in place. Because he loves you. Because he it knows that through a friendship, that friendship that he has created through his son is for you. Now, make sure to come back and, and, and don't forget, hey parents, if you're watching, TC3 VBS, our Focus VBS, just happened last week. And we had like 20 kids all over the city take place in this free VBS that is interactive, that is engaging. It's, it's wild. I've got even a lot. I might even have some free supplies for you. First come, first serve. Make sure to email me or contact me here at the church. Andy at tc3.church. I'm going to give you everything. Everything's online. It's ready to go. And, and tomorrow, Monday, well, Monday, we have our, our TC3 Kids Zoom at 3 o'clock. And it's just another way to go a little bit deeper into Genesis chapter 3 and in God's perfect story plan. So think about that, guys. Think about all that stuff. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for this amazing testimony of your brilliance, of your, your, your love, your, your amazing grace that comes from your perfect plan. Lord, we are not perfect. We tear things down that you build. We hurt other people. We break the rules that you give us. But we know that through your son, Jesus Christ, who was there from the beginning and always will be there, we can be saved. Thank you, Jesus. You are so beautiful. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is just week one of our Bible in a year. Can you believe it? That's just week one. Oh, 51 more weeks of reading this Bible in order. It's going to be awesome. You don't want to miss a minute of it. So I want to see you guys next week. Until then, y'all take care. Bye. <laughs>